We can't quite get our heads around it. The big decision's been made uh, to, to bring these maximum betting states right down to two quid. Um, surely a compromise could have been hammered out if it's just a matter of a few months. Yeah, I, I campaigned on this on a cross-party basis with Carolyn Harris, the Labour Party, I, Tom, I've spoken to about this. Um, I was over the moon when the government said reduce this to two pounds because these are one of the highest and most addictive forms of gambling. Mm. Uh, people lose on average a thousand pounds a time at a visit to some of these machines. Let's mm -hmm. just so... quickly turn because not everybody uses them or understands them. And okay. what we're talking about is that at the moment you can put a hundred pounds into these machines every twenty seconds. The yeah. speed with which they can lose have devastating. Yeah. The key losses. thing is the speed. Um, it's different from betting on a horse race or a football match yeah. or whatever. This is literally the time taken, yeah. the decision to button press. Yeah. And that is the addictive nature of this, and these meetings should scream at you. So this, I believe, was a bold decision by the government to do it. We lobbied for it, they agreed yeah. to do it, etc. We wanted it done this year. Government said no, they had to get all these things in check. Uh, the gambling industry needed nine months to 12 months to get their act together. Uh, and so from May, we f focused forward and it was likely to be spring next year. Yes. And then the government's come forward and said, uh, no, it's going to be October. And they've argued, well, that's coming forward because there was some suggestion it would be a year later. Um, actually, it's not really because everybody wants it done as soon as possible. I believe, and many of my colleagues believe, it should be done in the spring. If it's not April, maybe May, but certainly the spring of next year. And here's the issue. We've heard testimony from many families whose lives have been wrecked Young people have committed suicide and had problems. And we therefore think it's just not worth the extra risk. Mm. We should do mm. this. And the mm. gambling industry moaning at us, well, this is an industry that makes a shed load of money. Absolutely. And I have no sympathy at all. If they have to suddenly accelerate, then fine. And if they haven't already planned this, by the way, yeah. then they're incompetent. Mm. Well, I was about to say, when we were discussing the way these, these systems work, I mean, these machines are designed to win. I mean, you cannot beat the machines. Uh, you get the occasional small victory, which is the adrenaline rush, which is, the, if you like, the, the crack cocaine rush, which makes you bet again and then lose what, what you just yeah. won. Mm. Let's, let's go over to Tom Watson. Uh, I would have thought this is a bit, bit of a gift uh, to, to you guys, Tom. It's not, Richard. I, I mean, the one thing that uh, Ian says there, and I agree with every word he said, by the way, is Tracy would have been the person that has to look at the families that have lost loved ones uh, to gambling addiction. To, to tell them that the policy would have been in, implemented in May and then she would have had to tell them there was a delay and I think she felt that that was just too much to ask of her and I think she did the right thing to resign because the one thing it's done is put into stark focus just the damage that these machines have done and the truth is we've left it too long as a parliament to deal with these machines anyway and that's as a direct result of the gambling industry trying to slow up the reform that everyone knew was needed many, many years ago. So it's already overdue. The trouble is, Tom, May really is was the uh, we as a nation get a lot of uh, revenue from gambling companies, don't we, in tax? And I guess one of the arguments for why there's been this delay is because they wanted to balance the books. They wanted to make sure that reducing this amount um, that people can bet came in at the same time as the government was getting a levy back from gambling companies so that there wouldn't be a shortfall. I mean, it's a, it's a brutal world and that, that's the fact of it, isn't it? Well, the trouble is with that. I mean, the government could have taken other measures. Indeed, in the Red Book, they are increasing taxes on for online gambling, uh, which would have offset the revenue mm. levy loss from fixed odds betting terminals. But of course the government, what the government can't do because they don't collect this information and we've urged them to do so, is say how much it's costing us on the, t on the NHS to treat gambling addiction, to deal with the consequences of people who have lose their jobs and their families when they sort of move to extreme measures when they're gambling addicts. There's 430,000 gambling addicts in this country with two million more people who have problems with gambling they are on the runway to addiction. But when, I, uh, but when I said to you at the opening of this interview that it was a bit of a gift for you guys, what I was really referring to was the political response from the Labour Party this morning, which is to say that this is, you're, you're quoting this as an example of the Conservative Party and the government failing the poor. Well, it, it's because the, the reason we say that is, of course, the, the gambling companies <laughs> open more betting shops with these machines in, in the areas where the yeah. poorest people live. Uh, but what we, I mean, let me say now though, Richard, I, I mean, you know, it's unusual this, but we didn't want Tracy Crouch to resign. Mm. 
We thought she was a minister with good, in, with uh, who's good at a job. She had integrity. We, we she was an honourable person, and we thought that she, we knew, we could see it that she fought hard within government to win this policy position, and, and she her. built a good alliance with people like Ian, who's obviously a very senior conservative and so other is it MPs. Is brutal? Tom, sorry to interrupt. So, so is it as brutal uh, as some say that in the, really hmm. the government, as the front page of the Mail says, has blood on their hands and it, this is about money? The suicide rates amongst uh, people with gambling addiction are very, very high indeed. In fact, I forget, I forget the exact figure, but the, the rate of people who consider suicide because of their gambling addiction yeah. is staggeringly high. Mr Duncan uh, Smith, is there anything that can be done to fix this? Yes, there is. Uh, I think there is still scope for the government mm. to bring the levy forward on online gambling, which would allow them to bring the fixed odds betting terminal start mm -hmm. date forward. They could do it together. They'll cover their costs quite happily. Look, I'm... I was going to try to ask you that, and <clears> Tom picked up. Yeah. Do you think they have got blood on their hands, the government? Well, not yet, because I think this is the reality, mm. that they still have an opportunity to make this change. Mm. I, I'm never one for great headlines. Is it about this. money, though? Uh, well, it's always, at the end of the day, mm -hmm. about yeah. money. But the reality is there's one other feature which is more important in this particular case. It's the fact... Uh, look, I'm, I'm not against gambling. People can gamble. It's a matter of free choice, everything else. These machines, however, are peculiar in the sense that the level of addiction is very high and they are such that they are almost always in areas where people have very low incomes. Absolutely. And That's so this is the damaging point. point about it. So I'd simply say to the government, it isn't too late. It really isn't too late. The, the, the whole parliament would welcome this if you brought this forward. Let's get this done. We'll work Sorted together to make it happen. But it's certainly too late for Tracy Crouch, isn't it? She won't get a job back. Well, you know, Tracy Crouch is a good minister. <laughs> I resigned a few years ago. When you don't agree with the government and you go, it's always I mean, best yours to had go an effect, principle. didn't it? Because you Well, we're getting the money back now, your... and yeah. we're now getting the money back. Speaking of resignations and comebacks, <clears throat> what do you think about Mr Cameron's uh, plans announced in The Sun and an exclusive <laughs> today that he wants to come back once Brexit's been sorted out? Yeah. But he should have taken the responsibility, having called the referendum, to have seen this through and not resigned. I was pretty unhappy with him I for doing I think that. I can hear a faint echo of a cheer to that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I thought he should have done, because that yeah. was his responsibility. He called the uh, referendum. But I don't know whether it's true or not. I haven't spoken to him. Uh, of course, it's always open to him to do that, whether he comes back into Parliament or goes into the Lords. But I, I would find that rather peculiar if he wanted to do that. What, do you, what do you make of it, Tom? Tom Watson? I think it's outrageous. I think that guy ran away from a referendum result that he imposed on the yeah. country, and he had a responsibility to take us through to through Brexit and the negotiations, and yeah. to just sort of uh, consider coming back as if it's an entitlement was actually part of the problem we had with David Cameron in the first place. Well, what an extraordinary morning. We've, we've got a Conservative yeah. politician and a Labour politician agreeing on everything. Yeah. Well, 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 Richard, I hope we'll be agreeing next week in the Chamber when we discuss the commemoration of the First World War, because he and did a lot of work to honour the last Tommy, and I hope that that is recognised yeah, we when Parliament... Together, Tom and I. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. three things. <laughs> I know. We'll have to review this in due course. <laughs> <laughs> I find something you can row about. <laughs>